Hello, Washington. My name is Ray Gilbride from WeSpeak.com, and today we're here with Jennifer Sevzik. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay, she's running for representative in the 42nd District. That's Whatcom County, Washington. Jennifer, tell, tell me why should we vote for you? You should vote for me because I am the best candidate that you will have to vote for because I love Whatcom County and I love where I live and I want to see it re remain great. I like that. Well, let me ask you a couple questions today. One of them is on uh, Senate Bill number 5395. I understand you have a, a problem with this, but I don't understand it because aren't they just teaching children how to identify parts for sexual abuse, stuff like that? Oh, right. It is so far beyond that. It is, you know, on the surface, it would seem like, sure, comprehensive sex ed sounds like a good idea. Let's educate our students on biology and they should understand some basic components. And uh, certainly on the surface, it sounds good, but in reality... Yeah. It is so far beyond that. It's not biology. It's it's ideology. So you're saying it, it crosses the line of education and almost gets into where it's abusive to our children, possibly? Oh, absolutely. It's so far beyond just basic understanding of biology. It goes into areas where it's instructing them on things they should not know about. It's R-rated material. Um, it's not something kids need to be discussing. They don't need to see it. They don't need to think about it. Um, the barriers are broken and it removes their innocence. Now, there was a, recently a protest down in Olympia, Washington. I was there, and one of the general, one of the speakers were talking about where they actually have uh, encouraged young boys to bathe together and have group masturbation in lieu of sex and have young boys have intercourse with each other as bonding. Is that really what's going on in this? Do people actually understand that's legitimately what is in the curriculum? You know, people find it hard to believe. I mean, you're right. It's in the, it's not wow. in the, in the bill, you know, so people could look at the bill and say, I don't know what you're talking about, but it has certain requirements of what they want taught, and that's actually in the curriculum. And there's only one state approved curriculum right now, and it is not something that you want to spend your leisure time looking at. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and try to get that curriculum and show it to more people, but I see you have a book here that you brought with you. Can you can I tell what is this book? What's this? An example of something? Um, this book here is suggested reading for 10 and up, so it could be used as companion reading in the curriculum. And I looked through it, and I was horrified, and it made me sick to my stomach. And so some of these things have been highlighted here. I, I don't even want to show you. We'd have to put an R rating on this if I open this book right now. Um, so it's, it's that bad, literally. It's that bad. Yeah. Wow. Certainly not anything. And you're a parent. Do. I'm a parent. Would you teach your children at home what is in this book? No. This is not biology. This is ideology, and it's instructing children. It's breaking down those barriers, and it's putting them in a position to explore and be sexualized, um, which is certainly not That's appropriate not for our children. That's not a good law. I understand that uh, Parents for Safe Schools has a referendum. I believe it's Referendum 90. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what's coming up? Sure. Yeah, Referendum 90 is put together by a coalition of conservatives and people who care about our children and parents being able to have this control over this part of their education. And it is going to be coming out very soon. Um, it's had a little bit of a holdup and some challenges and the wording and text, um, but it is just about to be launched. And you can go to parentsforsafeschools.com and sign up for a petition and they will mail you one. Um, there may be the opportunity to digitally download it and, and do it that way, but that information is yet to come. Well, we hope that certainly they're going to do that because if they PDF it and download it so people can get that, they can get hundreds of thousands of signatures in a matter of a week rather than the slow mail process. But the trick is, from what I understand, is there's a lot of people out there who have tried to make this about something different. We need to keep this about the protection of our children. So whether you get it online, downloading it, or whether you get in the mail, make sure you sign it and send it back only to parents for safe schools. Do not send it to anybody but them. Would you say that's good advice? That's great advice. All right. Well, this is Ray Gilbride from WeSpeak.com. We look forward to giving you a lot more. Deborah, thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody.